All right, now we're going to go forward, forward flight. Now, when you're sitting at a hover, you're probably sitting at, you know, three quarters of a stick, um, hovering just fine. Now, when you go into forward airspeed, if you keep it at three quarters of a stick, about this much, you're going to climb. Now, what's going to happen is, what you want to do is you want to compensate the collective with how much forward cyclic. Now, if I'm going this much forward, I got to have a lot of collective and a lot of thrust keep at the same flying altitude. Now, you know, I can keep the same thrust and just pitch back and it'll automatically want to climb. So if you want level flight, you have to kind of find the happy medium between the boat. You have to find happy medium between thrust and, and forward cyclic. And uh, that will give you level flight and that's pretty much level flight. Now, when you're in level flight and you want to pitch back, which is called cyclic climb, is you keep the same amount of thrust and you just pull back on the cyclic and you'll do a cyclic climb. Um, for RC helicopters, this is a rigid rotor system. So when you go, you can also give thrust and it'll give it that pop and you'll be able to go up 90 degrees. Um, but that, what that's called a cyclic climb is you're already in forward air flight, just pull back on the collective or the cyclic, I mean, and it'll go into a cyclic climb. Now, for Rearward flight, it's just the same. The only thing is in rearward flight, just aerodynamics itself will want to automatically rotate the helicopter around. Um, we have a gyro, so that takes care of that. It'll do what it needs to do to make sure it doesn't yaw. And, but um, a couple maneuvers we can go over is uh, in rearward flight, if you notice, if I go to rearward flight like this and I'm already traveling backwards, all I have to do is yaw the aircraft and I'm already in forward flight. So that is one turn. It, um, I call it it's just a one you know, backwards 180. Uh, you're just flying backwards and you just whip the tail around and you're already in forward flight and you just go. Um, another one I like to do is a, a banking 180 or what I call a flip 180. I yaw back, I roll and I kick the tail at the same time. So it kind of looks like this. I come back, I, I yaw or I roll, and then I yaw it over and it kind of goes. And so instead of just back and just flipping you know, the, uh, the rudder over, I, I, I incorporate a, a roll into it. So it's back, roll, and yaw it around. And you got to apply a little bit of elevator to bring the nose up. But you know, it, it's, it's really a, a simple maneuver. Um, well, I guess that much covers the the uh, forward flight and you know backwards flight and kind of flipping it around. Uh, those maneuvers really don't take you know too much skill. It's just the, the whole idea around it, which you gotta you know understand is you know if I'm already like this and I just flip around, I, I'm in forward flight. So you know you're gonna go from backwards to forward you know really quickly. So you just gotta be able to reset your mind and understand that when you're controlling with the uh, controller. Oh, okay.
Yeah.